Libra, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for June 2018 and Libra this month, yes we've got Mars going retrograde which means you're going to have to take those physical relationships a little bit slower. However, we've also got some really good stuff as we're coming into the month. I mean, you've got Mercury and Venus up here in your career zone. Venus is going to move on, be in the 11th house. This is the most social part of your chart. And it's Venus. She's wonderful. She's diplomatic. She brings beauty, some magnetism to the table. Plus, we've got a new moon that's going to be happening in your ninth house. So this gives educational or professional expansions. Um, philosophy, faith, all of these things have the chance to expand this month, which are great because the theme really for you for the month is not only going to be re-strategizing, reprioritizing with that Mars retrograde, but also looking at where you're making a name for yourself out in the world. Where are you in the public eye, public sector? How are you out there? Even if you're not publishing books and doing all of that, how are you repping yourself out in the streets? That's going to be really important this month. So let's jump in here and talk about it. Right at the beginning of the month as we come in, um, on the 12th, we've got Mercury coming into Cancer, joining Venus. They'll be here for just a smash second together. But with both of them up here in your 10th house, this is beautiful career news at the beginning of the month, right? In the space of career, reputation, status, soul level calling, you've got Mercury who's business savvy. So he's giving you beautiful conversation. You've got these decisions. You're able to make them. You're able to see the details of things very, very clearly right and venus who's bringing magnetism beautification she's you're talking to people at work and it's just coming off like butter right <laughs> this is a really wonderful energy to have here plus venus at the top of your chart likes to attract a little bit of money because she is about that dollar don't forget that so she could be attracting some money or people who are in a position of influence who can help you um change the way your finances look around your career or your calling okay now when we get to the 13th of the month we've got a new moon happening in gemini so we know now we've got thinking and communication for sure that's the gemini energy okay and this is going to be happening for you in the ninth house so this doesn't necessarily mean that um you know, you lack faith or anything like that. But the ninth house, as I teach it, is always a house of faith because it's the greatest expansion we're going to do, right? And the way that we get bigger, the way that we move out of our boxes and bubbles is by taking a pretty big leap of faith, whatever you choose to call that, right? So this is definitely a time, I think, with this new moon, we're planting these seeds of intention for something we want next. And if the way for you to get out of your bubble is to go to college, go to school, take higher education, great. If it's a licensing, a certification, um, teaching internationally, maybe something like that. For some of you, it's going to be, this is the time when I'm ready to get this book put out there. This is the time I'm ready to get this podcast put out here. Marketing, advertising, this is a wonderful energy for you guys as well. If you have a business, if you have a book, if you have something on your own that you love, you treasure, it's your voice, and you've been working on it, and you haven't put it out there yet, this is a wonderful new moon energy for you to communicate, Gemini, with somebody who can help you launch and broadcast yourself out into the world over the next four weeks. So maybe in your manifestations, that's what you ask for. Help me, show me, bring to me the person, place, or thing that can teach me, help me see how to expand. That's a beautiful energy right there. Now on the same day, we've got Venus helping you out. Thank you very much. Moving into Leo, into the 11th house, the most social place in your chart. So where that's beautiful, I just told you, maybe you've got to ask for help, watch a tutorial, see what's maybe not been efficient, see a way that you can help yourself get bigger. This could also be a time I think here with friends because it's a Venetian energy, you might be going, now wait a minute, I've been doing all of this career stuff. I'm so wrapped up in my head around the career. What do I do with my career? I haven't really stopped to spend time with my friends to engage and enjoy in some pleasure. Remember, Leo, pleasure energy, right? I haven't really been saying what I think or how I feel or laughing or playing. Leo is a joyful energy. So with Venus here in the joyful energy, in the social house, that's how that string is connected. This could be a time for you, Libra, where you're going, I got to get out. Like, And we're getting ready to come into a new season in here so you might be like oh i gotta get these shoulders out get out in the sunshine do a little movement something like that but whatever it is in this fifth house you're definitely going to be looking at your association with friends organizations and also re-looking over especially financially your long-range goals and plans and are you taking actions that are going to get you there okay 
Now on the 18th, we've got Neptune going retrograde here in your sixth house all the way until November. Now, Neptune is a very outer planet, so its influence, especially in a retrograde, is very subtle. But where I think it's powerful and important for us to talk about is bringing some spirituality, bringing some forgiveness, some compassion, some creativity to your daily routine, right? The sixth house is health, it is work, it's daily routine, it's service, it's small animals. So some of you that have small animals, you know what I mean? You want to pay attention. What's going on with those animals? Is there a health situation coming up? Is this the time where your small animal wanders off and you have to go find it and you end up on some really cool little adventure where you're like, your emotions, your heart and your soul are moved and rocked as you're going through that process. Those are the kinds of things that a Neptune retrograde definitely brings, but also the opportunity to look back and say, where do I need to amp up the spiritual here in my life? Okay. On the 21st, the sun moves into Cancer. We get into a whole new season. Summer solstice is upon us, my friends. And let me remind you, in Western astrology, we do not follow the constellations. We follow the seasons. So this is a fresh new beginning. I love this. I'm excited about it because... You get to get outside. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, and if you saw my chart, I think you'd get it. I really like being naked, right? And so anything, any season that actually gets me close to being nude or less as, that I can wear as possible, I'm pretty good with. And with the sun here, it is huge amounts of vitality. It is huge amounts of rebirth and come out, show yourself to the world, shine. Let's be out here. So this is a wonderfully social, be out in the world energy. And that is your theme for the month Libra. So Oh, get it okay you don't have to do it naked but get it also on that same day we've got venus and mars in their annual opposition here now we've got venus over here in the 11th house for you we've got mars over here in the fifth house for you when venus and mars come into an opposition they help you see things differently you're getting a different perspective on something so somewhere between the joy and maybe the friendship situation you're going wait a minute I've got to get a new strategy here. I got to come out of my hole, stop getting all wrapped around work and these relationships and just let my hair down and have some fun. So give you a different perspective to help you see things differently. On the 26th, Mars takes its retrograde, which is going to go all the way until August 27th. In the sign of Aquarius, it will end in the sign of Capricorn. But for the most part, we're dealing with Aquarian social energy here in the fifth house for you. So here's what I would tell you, okay? If you're already in a relationship, this is a great time for you to relook at where's the passion? What are you doing to connect and to laugh and to play together? I love that energy. Re-look at it. Find a new strategy to play together. If you are in a new relationship or you meet somebody during this Mars retrograde, I'm telling you, please, please, please do not get naked yet. Please just don't do it. Because it's just sometimes, guys, what happens is we come to the other side of the Mars retrograde and it's like we didn't have anything in common except for being naked, right? So, and if, that, if you're cool with that, to each their own. You do you, but I'm just telling you, be mindful of the physical relationships during a Mars retrograde, especially for you, because it's in the fifth house, which tells us it's likely with someone new, right? Or likely with someone you're not planning to be super serious about. And if that's where you're at, do you, okay? Now we go to the 28th and we've got a full moon happening here in Capricorn. And this could put a little bit of tension on your home life. Now the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So we're going to come into a shift, right? And one of the things that I'm wondering is happening in this shift is that first Libra, I think you may find that your head has been so in the clouds on work and I got to achieve and I got to perform and this, 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 what do I do next? What do I do next? Do I go to school? Do I go to work? What do I do? that maybe things in the home life have needed a little bit of a shakeup. They need an adjustment. You've, we've got to have a new focus around the home life situation. For some of you, this could indicate a move. Definitely. That's definitely that's something that's on there. But the other thing is, is remember those foundational level beliefs that the foundations you've been building your beliefs on are what you stack the rest of your life on. Those are where you make decisions from. You may need to adjust those and get a different kind of reality. Like I said, maybe it hasn't been including friends and being social, it's just been all worry over here or all trying to find your voice and it's time to bring in a little bit of a different influence there. I don't think that this is particularly, um, I don't think this is a really savage full moon necessarily, um, but with Capricorn there in the fourth house, he wants to achieve something and he wants to achieve the greatest good for whatever your home fourth house life looks like and this includes relationships with women so be surprised don't be surprised if there's some kind of shift around that okay 
At the end of the month, Mercury is going to move on and move into Leo, join Venus. They're there for, for just a minute together, but Mercury is going to be here for a while because we've got some retrograde time in here as well. So again, now you've got Venus and Mercury again in a house, sharing space, sharing the spotlight together. You're communicating while you're laughing. Um, maybe you've had to have a conversation with that one friend who just cannot get their life together. This could also be a time too where a friend is saying, oh my gosh, we're so proud of you, or you find you have support in something, maybe in a place or a social place where you're really surprised because you didn't even know that that person was Team Libra or that group was Team Libra. Wonderful time for networking all month long for you, Libra, so please take advantage of that, okay? I look forward to seeing what's coming for you. Keep me posted on your retrograde experience and just how everything's going and how you are. I love hearing from you, so leave that in the comment section down below, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, my beautiful friends. Friends, and I will see you in July. Bye.